welcome to Pick Your Poison. Today we're talking sarin, and I'll just bluff my way through pronouncing acetylcholinesterase. Sarin is a man-made chemical warfare agent, and it's not used for anything else. Like bombs, tanks, and Amanda Bynes, it's a purely destructive force. And I'm not kidding. It was designed by a team of Nazi scientists bent on human misery. Well, okay, the scientists weren't bent on human misery. They were trying to combat world hunger by making a more efficient pesticide. But it was Nazi Germany, so their good intentions quickly turned into a clear, colorless, tasteless, odorless liquid of mass destruction. In the 70 plus years since Saren's creation, it has only been used a few times. Once by Saddam Hussein, who used it on his own people killing thousands, twice by a terrorist group in Japan in the mid-90s killing 21 people, and at least once by the current president of Syria, though not all of the information on that is out as of yet. Sarin is typically released as a nerve gas, and like all other nerve agents, it attacks your nervous system. In Sarin's case, it inhibits the acetylcholesterase enzyme, and without that, your muscles aren't able to relax. Initially, you'll have a runny nose, tightness in the chest, and constriction of the pupils. Quickly after that, you'll have difficulty breathing, nausea, and excessive drooling. This is followed by a total loss of control of your bodily functions, vomit, urine, you'll poop your pants. Then the twitching and jerking starts. Finally, you become comatose, suffocate, and die. Death usually occurs because the muscles involved in breathing have remained clenched long enough to asphyxiate you. So, you just died of sarin poisoning. Still, there may be one upside. In 1993, the United Nations Chemical Weapons Convention was signed by 162 nations. This means that if you're a world leader who gets caught using sarin, there is an international community ready to dole out substantial punishment. Namely, they'll overthrow your government and try you for crimes against humanity. So hooray, revenge! Maybe. I did say probably earlier. There is the case of Ronald Madison, the Royal Air Force engineer that was killed by sarin without getting his revenge. In 1953, the English government was testing sarin on British soldiers to determine what the lethal dose for sarin actually was. Ronald Madison volunteered for the test after being told that it was a study to find the cure for the common cold. <laughs> Once he was in the gas chamber, scientists dropped sarin on Madison's skin and he was dead within the hour. Since his death, there have been two formal inquests into the incident and neither resulted in any prosecutions. So, sucks to be Ronald Madison, his family, or anyone thinking of signing up for a lab study in Britain. I've gotta be honest, considering this whole Madison thing, there is no upside to sarin poisoning. Sorry, but you should have picked another poison.